What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SMCI stock. So let's talk about the price action, the key levels and going into the next week, how can we be trading this stock and what type of positions we have had on SMCI so far, what game plan we have had. I'll cover all of the stuff in this video guys. With that, please hit the like and subscribe and also please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for educational purposes. I'm only providing my opinion and my read on the market and how I trade the market. At the end of the day, you are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and your own financial outcomes. I take guarantee of nothing. Yes, you heard it right. I take guarantee of nothing, all right? Cool, good stuff. Now, so SMCI guys, um, how are we looking at it? Well, so remember, okay, a bit of recap here. So when we had this huge red candle and midway of that, we actually, got into our short position at least the time when i covered the video with you all there was a bit of again like you know the videos can't be in real time but this was the place for confirmation of playing the short back then and um and since then guys so i put down you know though the level of 554 but as i always suggest take some significant profits at our significant levels and these important levels um some of them are i have highlighted with a red line as well just because they are they have been very important so that's why these lines are there but behind that you will find my other levels as well which are marked by my indicator and my tools if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video now here we with smci guys um we have the play we had was short play and take partial profits out and then 200 hours moving average provided it that support at least for the bounce so we made good profit on our way down now, as it was coming back up, finding double bottom, NVIDIA's earnings and everything started going up, I mentioned that, even back here I mentioned that even if SMCI tries to come back up to $1,000 range, it is still a short play, all right? It was doing that, doing that, and look at it. Started to sell off right at one of our significant levels and also very close to our $1,000 range where it was like, hey, even if it tried, tries to retest it, this is still a short play. So, and we are going down, continuing down, right? So our short play has been working out really great guys on SMCI and because this has been a huge supply zone, right? This is, this is how you trade, right? The market gives you second opportunity to get in and make money. If you, if you bought here, that's on you, you know? you didn't know well i mean if you are seeing this video the first time and you are new guys you should subscribe and like so that you understand how to trade the stock market and not buy blindly at not buying the dip right why should you buy the dip here there's no point the stock is now in the process of going down at least in our interval of this play that we are in so all in all guys again take partial profits out at these partial levels and 200 hours moving average I, you know it's the place where i would like to just size out fully a lot more because that's where at least a stock may start to become choppy before it gives us another confirmation right so what are those areas like you asked junior traders so in this video guys we'll be talking all of that as well now i'm gonna do one thing real quick here i'm just gonna move it a little bit to the left so that the chart becomes clear and we can you know take a look at a couple of things here so and i'm also gonna get rid of some of the lines here that um we don't necessarily need uh, but I also I want to you know do it fresh here with you guys right because when I say fresh because this is going into the next week this will be a little bit of a new play as well for us right so I'm just going to get rid of some of these levels here the at least the red highlighted lines which are at the intraday levels as well and the significant levels as well now over here guys what am I seeing well it is still above 20 days moving average is there another bounce going to come you asked junior trader well you know that's you know stocks yeah technically it can like it can come down here find support at 20 days moving average try to chop around before we see any another, another massive move because you can see that we got a bounce at 20 days moving average right so now however the it's just not again like it's still has it's still at a price point which doesn't make sense all right i'll be doing amd video as well and guys i did other videos as well nvidia and other semiconductors check those videos out on my channel because that will give you a little bit of more understanding that 
these all of the semiconductors have been doing the sympathy rally with nvidia so it doesn't necessarily mean that they have any of their own intrinsic value to the price point of 860 dollars for smci right so and they have just raised the money as well um me which means diluting the shareholders so well anyways what i'm trying to say here is that the price to me doesn't make sense and that's why it's technically been such a great place to short it right now as i said Splay is same. You have to have your stop loss. You can hand, you know change your stop loss areas, but anything at till the level of one thousand seventy eight, even if it comes up, there's still a short play in my opinion. Even though the second time it has already been working out, so third time I want to see if third time that applies because usually what happens if we have a higher low little bit than the past, then things can be cautioned because it's forming another low, higher low, and may try to, you know, squeeze out. But again, the way it has run up and the pat price action pattern is forming, I doubt it that's gonna happen. We have already formed at the parabolic move, lower high. Now, let's go to the hourly interval before I tell you a couple more things on the price action here. So, it's a continuation on the hourly interval, a short play. Like even though, so guys, look, we have the, I'm going to update this play actually so that I can give you two plays here and let me actually bring it back to where it was. All right. So it's taking a while. <laughs> all right. So guys, I'm going to update this play a little bit. So what I'll do is at this point, I would want to move the take profit target pretty much where it is like around this area, you know. Um, and again, yeah, you know, position should have been closed here around this range, right? Um, and stop loss, again, and just the stop loss, however you like, like, you know, I'm just going to bring it lower, but, um, you know, this is, this is for the second run, okay? Um, so second run from here, because this is what we were targeting, that if it comes up there, then we can, we can start shorting it again. And then our, uh, you know, first play was all the way sorry yeah all the way somewhere from here all the way to the you know i mean we were targeting that but you have to take partial profits out so 200 hours moving average and all of that so i'm just gonna move it well yeah let's just keep it here um and then yeah when you start seeing double top double sorry double bottom you size in your size out your position right now there is actually the reason I want you to separate it because these are two separate plays, all right? And also now, before we take another short play on it, either you can just continue to carry this position what you have here, but there is another reload on the short side that can come if it breaks below 200 hours moving average. And that could be another, that, that play will take this area as well in its equation. And that could be somewhere put as list this one. But it has to, for that particular period, it has to break below 200 hours moving average. Otherwise, there's a chance that it may chop around a little bit bounce here at this level, okay? So, but that's how I'm reading SMCI right now. In my opinion, it's still a downside play, guys. SMCI is still a down play. It's not, it's not that it's a bullish play now, no. It's, in my opinion, no, okay? You, you can do however you like. I do see this double bottom formed and which also has to do with um you know the the nvidia's earnings right so nvidia's earnings just put everything in a completely different hemisphere here guys for us um but yeah so you have the play you have the levels to watch uh, level break below 812 is a continuation play to the downside if any is there any long play uh you know where the price action is right now I really don't want to trade it long because you know it could at least for, for let's say if you really want to see what if there's any long play on monday well it has to hold the level of 823 and if it gets above 20 hours moving average then and also 50 then yeah intraday long could be traded i would not do that but your choice i would more i have been only looking short plays on it so yeah because for me the price action the pattern is building in that way that it's much more lucrative to to play the short side rather than going long and always be at a you know corner of having a heart attack oh this thing just blew me up right so 
Well, anyways, guys, this is it for this video. Hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. And there are other videos coming soon as well. So AMD, tech stocks, and all other you know things that I cover, Tesla, other semiconductors, and all that good stuff, guys. All right, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.